Every single day, hundreds of Abingdon residents and visitors walking down the street walk over one of Abingdon's most fascinating but hidden pieces of history, the Sturt Street Culverts. This long underground passage brings the River Sturt through the town on its journey towards the Thames. It's completely hidden from the view of the general public, and because of this, a lot of its history is not known. In this documentary, I'm hoping to bring the history of the underground culverts to the surface by telling the stories of how these culverts came to exist and showing you some of the evidence of the culverts that can be seen overground. We'll also be taking a journey underground to show you the culverts themselves and some of the amazing history below the surface. So without further ado, welcome to Going Underground, the history of the Sturt Street culverts. The River Sturt itself starts its journey from the spring in the village of Sunningwell, just outside of Abingdon. From there it flows its way down to the town. The first time you can see it in Abingdon is on the border of Tilsley Park on Dunmore Road. From there it winds its way under and over ground to here where we start our journey, in Box Hill Woods. As you can see the Sturt is just a small and calm babbling stream. Most people wouldn't even think of classing this as a river, due to its size and it never really gets much bigger, deeper or faster than this. The only time it really does get pushed to its limit is during heavy rain, when it's most likely to flood. Growing up just down the road from here I can always remember it flooding as soon as we had a heavy spell of rain. But this rarely happens now. This is mainly down to the great job that the Environment Agency and volunteers that keep this clear and free flowing. Now the last time you see the River Sturt before it disappears underground is just here. If you wanted to come and see it for yourself, it's on the road called Wivington Courts. You can't enter from here though, as you can see, they've put these big bars in place to stop large debris from entering the culvert and blocking it. So now it is time to take a stroll down to Sturt Street itself and talk in more detail about the construction of the culverts and take a look at any remaining evidence of the culverts above ground. So here we are on Sturt Street, named as you can guess because of the River Sturt. This street is one of Abingdon's oldest streets and this was shown more than ever when one historical brooch was found during excavations at number 40. This is where Abingdon Job Centre currently stands. Experts have dated this brooch as far back to 100 BC. Another one of the amazing pieces of this street past is one of Abingdon's oldest buildings which is located at number 3. This house was built by Abingdon Abbey in 1470 which if my calculations are correct, this building is 550 years old. If you'd like to look into this building's history more, I will provide a link to the page that goes through the building's history in much more detail. So much of Abingdon's history has been made down the street, I might just have to make a separate documentary on the street itself. Sturt Street as you see it today is nothing like you would have seen centuries ago. It was nowhere near as built up. According to a survey taken in 1554, there's only 30 houses on the east side and 13 on the west side, as well as a small mix of shops and inns. Most of these buildings are in a terrible state of disrepair. But one of the major differences in appearances compared to today is that the River Sturt was not hidden below the street, but instead it ran above ground on the east side of the street, visible to all. If you lived on the east side of the river, you'd have to access your house via a series of small wooden bridges dotted along the street. But being an open river flowing through the street, the Sturt would have been absolutely filthy, for most house waste, including urine and feces, had been discarded into it. There was even a public toilet which flowed straight into the Sturt. You could just imagine the smell though you're greeted with if you walk down the street. Public hygiene was extremely low at the time, and I could only imagine some of the diseases which were bred in these poor conditions. According to one source, when the Sturt ran through the courtyard of the former Royce School, between 1573 and 1584, the school lost five headmasters in quick succession. Some attribute this to the bubonic plague, others blame the noxious nature of the stream running underneath their dilapidated accommodation in the south of the courtyard. The construction of these culverts was not just done on one big block, but in three phases, with construction and repairs spanning well over 600 years. 
The very start of construction is estimated to be around 1110, which is roughly 900 years ago. This is roughly the same time St Nicholas Church was being constructed. The church was the final part of the rebuilding of the Abingdon Abbey. As you know, you can't have a river flowing through a church, so the solution was to dig a culvert underneath it. You can amazingly see where the culvert begins in this print from 1782. Just behind the fence, which I have circled, was the River Sturt. You can see the fence stop where it flows beneath the church. Another interesting part of this print is the building. This is the Two Brewers Pub, which roughly opened around 1700 and closed in 1881 due to the culvert being built and town plans to widen the street. Evidence of the culvert going under St Nicholas Church can still be seen today. If you look at this section of wall opposite the church, you can see the relieving arches of the culvert below. These massive arches below it have smaller stone arches, two metres wide, two metres in height. We'll have a look at these in more detail when we go underground. As well as the relieving arch, there's one more way of discovering the sturt next to St Nicholas Church. This one might get you a few funny looks, but if you, if you put your ear on this manhole cover, you can hear the skirt running below. You can also see it if you look really close. Now I can't find an exact reason the town council decided to build these culverts. Every history source I look into doesn't really come up with an exact reason. But in my opinion it was mainly to improve sanitation and make it easier to widen the road. Also putting the river into a culvert system would help massively reduce the risk of flooding. Finding out the exact construction dates for the rest of the culvert sections is tricky. Different history sources provide different dates. The main culvert running the length of Sturt Street has been estimated to have been completed around 1790 and the length of culvert running from St Nicholas Church down towards the Thames is estimated to have been built between 1700 and 1800. So when we go underground you'll be able to see the amazing different building techniques throughout the culvert. It's like a mixed patchwork of brick patterns and stonework. Now the culverts have stood strong for hundreds of years, but over the time there has been many cases of repair works being carried out. One of these cases I'll quote from the official Abingdon government website. I'll provide a link to the website in the description of the video. It states that in 1898 repairs were ordered on the portion of the Sturt culvert near the Knoll for a distance of 75 foot, and is to be rebuilt with blue brick. There seems to have followed an argument between Abingdon and the Berkshire County Councils as to who should pay for this. Abingdon argued that the culvert was a natural watercourse and part of the highway, so the cost should fall on the county. But the latter viewed it as a sewer repair for which it was not responsible. Eventually though, the town gave in and accepted the liability and the costs. Here is a great photo of some repairs being made to the culvert in 1912. The most recent repair started in 2011 at the top end of Sturt Street. These repairs were mainly needed due to the ever-increasing traffic, especially buses and HUVs coming into the town, which is putting pressure on the roof of the culvert, making it unstable. Barriers were put up to divert the traffic of the weaker parts of the road, and work began. But much to the anger of the residents of Abingdon and the businesses of Sturt Street, this project had a few issues and took way longer than initially planned. The repairs being completed in 2016. At the time of making this documentary, these repairs have been the last major repairs made to the culvert. Hopefully though, the culvert won't need repairs for a long time. But who can tell, as of 2020, more and more cars, buses and lorries are coming through the town, which must be putting some pressure on the surface below. But only time can tell. So this is the bit I've been waiting for the most in this entire documentary. I can't believe we're doing this. Uh, as you can see, we're about to enter the culvert. Uh, this is at the very right end of Bridge Street in Abingdon. If you're planning on coming down here, please wear protective gear, such as, as you can see, we've got our life jackets. Um, you're probably meant to have a helmet in there. It's very low ceilings. You might hurt yourself. So if you are going to copy what we've done, please be very careful. We've got all the equipment we need. We've got our life-saving equipment. We've even got our little boat there, which my cameraman is currently having fun on. <laughs> so, and one more quick thing before we go in. So, when I do, normally do these videos, um, I'll let you on a little trade secret. So, I have my normal 4K camcorder, and I also have my teleprompter, which helps. Basically, it has all my script on it for the entire documentary, so I get everything right. Uh, of course, going into a culvert this, this big, 
this, this big, I'm not going to be able to fit a teleprompter in there, a tripod and a 4K camera stand. So from now on it's going to be my smaller camera and it's going to be completely unscripted. So wish us luck as we head on down into the culverts of Abingdon. See you down there. So here we are in the uh, culverts themselves. Um, the ceiling height is extremely low. <laughs> Oh, so it just hit me on the neck. I didn't like it. This is amazing. Hopefully it gets taller at some point. Um, so, so if you have a fear of spiders, what I wouldn't recommend doing is coming down here. Because I think I've already got like 11 touch in my head. <laughs> these, these lights are well good though. I think, in a second, what is that? <laughs> um, if you can turn your light off, Matt. Yeah. Save energy in case one of us, one of ours, dies first. So yeah, as I explained at the start of uh, before we come down here, this is going to be unscripted because there's no way I can carry any of my equipment down into this part of <laughs> the town. <laughs> oh, this is creepy. I don't like it. It from mud. To stones. Yeah, so this is probably like the foundation of the bedrock. Oh, that's good. Whew. Let me just uh, clear some stuff off my face. Wow, look at this pipe. <laughs> How old do you reckon this pipe is? Very. <laughs> oh my. What? Look at that spider, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> oh. oh my god, it moved. <laughs> Can you see that guys? Look how far it stretches out. Come have a look at under here, Matt. <laughs> Stones. Luckily, I think it gets taller. So we might be able to stand up. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> right, um, can you hold this while I go under? Yes. <laughs> my bum's wet. Oh, everything's wet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All that stuff just came off from that. Did it? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Probably grot. <laughs> A lot of. It, it could be 16th century grot. <laughs> yeah. So, but these are. Phew, we can stand up. <sighs> Look at this, everyone. It is amazing down here. I can already see some amazing sort of different styles of brickwork. Oh, is this? Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> this is like a little side pipe that goes off the side. Look at this. <laughs> I wonder where that goes. Yeah, we so, have an RC car and a camera on it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. So from what I remember reading, there was cases of people's sort of toilets from upstairs buildings coming straight into the culvert to go into the Thames. So we could be looking at a uh, Victorian sewage system, maybe. But from what I can see up there, it is blocked. But this is just amazing. There's some weird fish in here that I've never seen before. Oh my god, I've never seen them before. <laughs> but look, whoa! Oh, I just put my hand in the sink in the wall, it wasn't nice. <laughs> Where? Under, your foot. under my foot there's a nail. An egg. An egg? <laughs> oh. This is absolutely stunning down here. I would please anyone that's attempting to do this, make sure you've got the proper equipment. You might be able to see I've got a um, life vest. Um, we've got some proper footwear on. But yeah, do not come down here unless you have got the proper equipment. Apart from 
Yeah, this is simply amazing. We can see we've got this is actually quite of the modern brick roof. We'll probably be able to see when we get further down there that the different building styles which I mentioned earlier on in the documentary. This is blowing my mind. Here's another little. Wow, that goes right into the back there, and you can't even see where it's gone. You wouldn't believe this is a river, though, the way it's flowing at the moment is extremely shallow. Should we have a plan, though, Matt, just in case it, um, there's suddenly a tropical storm and it floods? Because <laughs> this is actually a genuine problem. This is actually kind of beautiful. Look at this. I am totally amazed. Let me just try and clean off my lens a second. A lot of dirt in here. There we go, people. This is actually... It's weirdly beautiful. It's one way of describing it. Luckily, we haven't discovered anything particularly strange yet. <laughs> so, again, you can... I'll just point you to the roof. Careful on these rocks, my friend, they're slippy as hell. Um, so this must be part of the um, repair work. As you can see, this is pretty much um, concrete breeze block. Uh-oh, did you just drop something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just concrete breeze, breeze block, but they must have reinforced it. Uh, we did talk about the repair works late, uh, earlier on in the video. Look at that. <laughs> It just shows such a historic river can cause such modern problems for the town that they have to do stuff like this. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I keep repeating myself, I know, but this is just a prime example of the, uh, the, the, old, the old meat in the new. Look at this old... What kind of wall is this, would you say? There's a certain type of w word for this kind of wall. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, it's, a, it's like a cobble wall, but this must have been the original, the original part before they've reinforced it with this concrete up here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, for those who are watching, I do apologise about... Uh, <laughs> sometimes I get everything right, sometimes I don't. <laughs> That's just doing it unscripted. Raw! So it's getting a bit tight under the ear, lads. What? What have you found? Oh, it's uh, making some sort of weird liquid. <laughs> I should. Is there? Oh. Wow, we are finding fish. Oh, <gasps> look how wide this opens up. This is totally amazing. best thing is, it's really weird, if I were quiet for a second, I can hear the cars above me. <laughs> oh, it's going to stand up for a second and uh, rest my back, it's a bit tight down here. But th yeah, I keep saying it, this is blowing me away, absolutely blowing me away. Yeah. I think this is one of, it's a bit more modern. one of the original arches. Yeah. Just come stand in here a second. It's a lot of effort this is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. Oh, wow. What? A bit of wood. A bit of wood. <laughs> oh, I bet that's... I bet that's um, of an original feature as well. Yeah, look, and there. Someone said though there is actually we'll try and find it. I've got to have really eagled eyes though um, There is graffiti from builders from like 1907 and stuff yeah, yeah. So it's getting really low again This is probably all down to the different building styles again yeah. It's a case of how far do we go? <laughs> Have you got your light on again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you come next to me, we can share the same light so we've got a backup battery just in case. 
<laughs> Should we do something a bit creepy? Let's turn the lights off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is the darkest dark I've ever seen. <laughs> If, if I turn that on again, there's like someone stood there. I would, cry. I would cry as well. Is that, a tie? <laughs> that is a tie. <laughs> that, is a tie. <laughs> that is quite creepy, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably sort of just where the debris has come from, like Box Hill Wood area and that. Yeah. Wouldn't that be amazing if it was a John Mason tie or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, again, that could be where a toilet or a privy come down into the sewer. What's that? That clap? It looks like a clam, yeah. But yeah, this is just blowing my mind at the moment. I can't get over how amazing this is. I wonder whereabouts you are. Yeah, it'd be great when I should have brought my phone because then I could have sort of looked at Google Maps to see where I was. Yeah. Um, yeah, another bit of advice if you come down here, don't come down here if you've got a bad back. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> see it again. Look at this. This is the original, you can tell. This is the new, the brick. Matt, look at this bit of wall. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. You can even see that that's what... That's probably what it should have looked like. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they replaced on that side with. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> I might even say, if you do come down here, get a helmet. <laughs> yeah, we can have that. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this spider! Ow. Not as cool down here as I thought. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. If I turn around, can I see the end of the tunnel? No. <laughs> we can't even see where we've got to. <laughs> what I might do is <laughs> get to a certain point and turn around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you want to come next to me so you've got the light? Yeah. Oh, I think it just dripped. <laughs> oh. We should have done this really like authentic with like Victorian mining lamps and that'd stuff. Be, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can stand up again. But not very well. Mm. Well, you're a bit taller than me. <laughs> If it wasn't for us talking, it's so eerily quiet down here. No. You can't barely... Hang on, be quiet a second. You can sort of hear the road above us. Yeah. What thing? Over there. What's that? The, the, on the floor? Yeah. What is that? Imagine if we find... Do you hear that echo just then? Yeah. Oh, I know what that is. It's just part of a um, part of a pipe. This is so eerie. Yeah. Oh wow! I've just spotted something awesome. I hope I can portray some of the stuff as much as I can. <laughs> so, I wonder, where do you reckon, Matt? <laughs> where do you reckon this will pop out? <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if we just come out in like St Nicholas Church on the service. Should we try it? <laughs> oh, look at that! Have you seen this? There's oh. a bug up there. Oh, <laughs> Imagine if we just popped out in the middle of a church service. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I like these lights things. Yeah, I was surprised they left them down here. This is from um, the most recent work, which I mentioned at the start of the documentary. Yeah. It's starting to shrink again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You can only imagine though what it must have been like for those early, sort of when they first built this, you had none of these battery powered electric lamps, no. just paraffin lamps, you probably didn't even have any basic health and safety gear. <laughs> oh wow, it really opens up up here again. Uh -huh. We got more of these like overspills. I'm surprised they've left these down here to be fair. They probably cost a fair bit. Ooh. There. Oh, I'm sure if a hand comes out, I'm being the first out of this tunnel. <laughs> yeah, so I, um, 
a lot of these holes could just be sort of like overflow for the skirt above or it could be a case of like i mentioned there was toilets that come under this oh wow look at this wow there's some graffiti on the wall here guys look at that i don't know if you can sort of figure that out uh it's an e and m is that an e and an m yeah, E and M. E and M. I believe. Is there? Yeah. Oh, wow. They're all down there. Don't know what it's Yeah, it sort of faded a bit. Yeah. Builders graffiti from the. <laughs> it could be from a couple of years ago, but it could be Victorian. Yeah. Look at this. EK, can you see that? Yeah. EK. It'd be kind of cool to, oh, look at this. I think that's part of St. Nicholas Church. Yeah. This is, de oh, this is just blowing my mind here. It'd be cool if we get these lights to work. Yeah. <laughs> As always people, if, you've, if you like this video, like and subscribe so you can get more awesome content like this. Also check out the hot house. <laughs> oh, what's this? That's some more graffiti. Yeah, careful your feet. Oh wow. That's 945. I can't yeah. it says 5th of May 1940 yeah 45. The graffiti. Yeah, I can hear all the cars. This is so weirdly peaceful. Look at the in there. I find it very strange that there's so much stone in there. Yeah, it's probably where it was like. It's probably from natural fall-ins. Oh, look at this brickwork here. I don't know if you can sort of see that. Look how layered it is. Some really old construction techniques. What is that light down there? That, there's a light. Can you see it? <laughs> oh my. There's only one way to find out what the light is at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Get to the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I, I wish I brought my phone now, because then I could have probably got Google Maps. Is that a tennis ball? <laughs> There's a what? tennis ball. Oh yeah. I'll be annoyed if we get back and our boat's gone. I would as well. <laughs> fucking car keys are there. Language. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'll fix it in post. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Something really creepy about these, like little. Right, I'm gonna get right down on my knees. Almost like a hobbit's gonna come out of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can only sort of see halfway where that comes up. Yeah. I don't think anything's come out of it for a long, long time. In fact, I might have seen it there. Could be. Is that definitely a light at the end there? Definitely, isn't it? I think so. See if that my light's reflected off like a really shiny bit of metal. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that one, how massive. Look at this hole. Um. Can you get down there? I could. I don't want to. Yeah, I could get down there, but I might never come out again. Yeah. <laughs> you never know how like, unstable these things are. No, no. Hopefully this pipe isn't is meant to be on the floor. <laughs> It's yeah. Again, the old, the older style construction. I'd be careful putting your hand on this stuff. This looks fragile. Yeah. Can right. you see the glistening in it? Yeah. I think you'll find the problem slugs in that. Slugs? Yeah. Like, you know. huh? I saw something shiny. Oh, I should probably touch things now. I can't get it out. <laughs> uh, so, word of advice. Don't touch stuff under the ground. <laughs> you don't know what diseases it's carrying. Oh. <laughs> no, that's late. 
Oh, this is... It's probably difficult to gauge on the camera, but it's it's the space in here. It, it's... What's what? It's a little, little tag. Let's have a look. It's just a little tag stapled in the ground that says C9. I guess that means like section 9. Um, there is definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> it's when someone just comes down, what are you doing in my tunnels? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> uh, that is actually kind of creepy. Yeah, if you if you if you have access to a boat or a set of waders, I would recommend coming down here. But please, please, I cannot stress enough, be safe. Say that again. No, don't vandalise this amazing piece of Aberdeen's history. Do what we're doing, just explore and enjoy it. Oh wow! <laughs> Look how far that goes. You can't even scope it on the camera. Jesus. <laughs> oh. oh I'd, yeah. I'd hate to see water coming down there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now this is purpose built. Look how nice the brickwork is. That's brick walled all the way round. That is beautiful. Where's that? There's the light. Yeah. You've got to look everywhere in case there's any sort of graffiti. Wow, I think I know exactly where we are. That, I believe, is just above the Abbey Gatehouse. Hello! <laughs> you shouting hello up there has probably just caused a mass panic. <laughs> Matt, there's some crazy fish in here. What the that thing? Oh, something just touched my leg. Um, I don't actually know much UK river fish and that, but there isn't anything in here that could eat the leg, could it? No, no, no. No? All right. There's a straight pipe down there. Oh, look at that bit of timber sticking out. Oh, that is literally rotten. Something just touched my leg again. <laughs> Another one of those tags for the sections, I think. Oh, look at this arch! What, why is That's that so, like, <laughs> facing outwards? I don't... That stone? Which one? Yeah, behind you. Oh, that doesn't look sturdy, does it? <laughs> oh, no. It's just down to creep them down. Is that metal? That's amazing. Well, now this is what my sort of I would do. Look at this botch job. They've just stuck, like, a plate and a bolt <laughs> through it. Why is there is like a, a yeah, why is there a bath plug? Hang on, is this? <laughs> What's that? I don't know. I think it was originally a geocache. Yeah, probably. But yeah, the geocache is gone. So put that back up there. Actually, I don't want to, just in case it breaks. I'm going to pop that down there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they walked straight into a wall. That would have been comedic. <laughs> There's, you can sort of see some graffiti, but it's sort of faded off. Yeah. Oh, we're going down again. <laughs> this is getting really like twisty, turny now. Yeah. Might have to come out the other end. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, though, Matt, you can't come out the other end. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Why is there just a random beach? I don't know. <laughs> Even worse if there's footprints on it. Yeah. Oh, there's some stuff hanging out the ceiling. Oh my god. I sound like a right coward on it, but once you're down here and something's touching your leg and you're not expecting it. <laughs> wow, look at this patch repair. Oh wow. <laughs> They've literally just sort of drilled metal into the ceiling. I'm just gonna try and look at that. Just goes on for miles. Yeah. So where does it actually come out? Um, it comes out near Box Hill Woods, that area. Oh. But we can't actually get out that way. <laughs> <laughs> just going to keep sort of walking into a into a dead end. <laughs> yeah. I 
again, I wish I had thought and bought something that would be able to tell my actual direction. Yeah. Careful on that bit of rock there, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to smash your head open. Yeah. Look at this bit of rebar. Yeah. I wonder where that's <laughs> Whatever you do, don't pull it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh wow, what do you reckon this is from? It's like another patch repair. Oh yeah. It's literally just like, look, this is what it was meant to be. <laughs> and then that's how they repaired it. <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but I bet it's, it's held for all these years, doesn't it? Yeah. Until it doesn't hold anymore. Yeah. Which is what we saw in the repairs part yeah. of the documentary. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, so yeah, out, make sure you're wearing proper footwear. We have got the basic shoes on, but not great. Keep your oh, a cold bit of water just dripped down my back. Oh. <laughs> this is actually a lot of work. It looks kind of deep down there. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Look how deep that is. Oh. Just being silent for a bit, you can hear the cars above. This is amazing. If at any point you feel like you're losing oxygen. Actually, I'm just going to untighten my, uh, my vest. <laughs> so yeah, it does get a bit deeper down here, Matt. <laughs> just to let you know. <laughs> There's wind coming out of this pipe to the left of me, <laughs> and it's quite creepy. Is that bowl? You what? Is that bowl? Is it a bowl? I think so. Oh, cool. What I might do, everyone, is oh, a fish just hit my foot. <laughs> Why do I feel like cod and chips for tea now? <laughs> Ow! Careful. Oh, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, I just... Oh, blimey! <laughs> that really hurt. <laughs> uh, because this part of the video is getting to nearly half an hour on its own at the moment, I might say that's it. Um, but for what... You, you could have been able to see a great part of this culvert system. Oh, wow, hang on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not sure what actually part we're in right now. Look at that bit of repair work time. It's literally just, oh, there's a weak bit, there's got a bit of metal on it. <laughs> but it'll be surprising how much difference that bit of metal is making. Yeah. What? Do you need to eat your red? I feel like I can hear people walking. You can. That's how close we are to the street level, you can hear people walking. <laughs> Wouldn't it be weird if they could hear us but not figure it out? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the point we're going to turn back now. <laughs> There's bats. Oh, really? Yes. Um, I'm not a fan of bats, so 
that's going to be the end of this part of the video. <laughs> I'll see you above ground. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Hi, so yeah, we've just come out of the culverts now. Um, now on dry land and fresh air. It's absolutely a wonderful feeling. We decided to uh, cut the Sturt Street part of the video off short. This is mainly because of two things. Um, one, I heard like a, what sounded like rats or bats, one of those. It was like a light screeching sound. Either way, I didn't want to deal with that. Not today. No, no, no. Uh, I'm not a fan of either of those things, rats or bats. Also, it was getting quite long, that part of the video. So I thought I'd cut it short. Who knows, we might go in there in the future. You never know. You never know. But that is all we have time for in this documentary today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It has been an absolute blast to make. Uh, been great researching into it. I have learned so much about the history. Sorry, one second. Filming near a busy road is full of traffic. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It will help me a great deal. Thank you for all your support so far this year. I know it's been a tough year, but we're back to normal now, filming some great documentaries. We've got plenty more to come. I've got three in the pipeline ready to come. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more great content coming soon. Thank you very much.